Hello YouTube. My name is Andrew Dornan. I live in a small community here. <coughs> Excuse me. Here in North Platte, Nebraska. <coughs> However, I watch world news. I watch world news as a middle American. As a middle American Run the mill conservative. I'm going to move this so you can see my face a little bit better, hopefully. YouTube, sorry. I don't know if anybody's going to see this video. I don't know because I don't have a channel, really. I watch videos. I watch videos. I react to them. I try to think about everything that I'm told. Now, we, as citizens of the world more specifically to my fellow Americans, because I think that we have a better grasp on what the word freedom means than any other nation that comes to mind. We are free. We are at risk, though, of losing the very thing that defines us as American citizens. I mean, we've had the ability to rationalize and think and fight and bleed and die for that we call freedom. It's the freedom to speak what you believe. Even if you're clearly wrong, you can say whatever the hell you want. It's the freedom to assemble peacefully. Like, don't go set down somebody's, or set somebody's house on fire because you disagree with them. That's not peaceful assembly. But you have that right to peacefully assemble. You have the right to worship whatever God you so choose or no God at all. In the face of a crisis where somebody can use fear, fear, to get you to think irrationally, Many people have been seemingly willing to give up these core basic freedoms. And I pray for them. I hope they're all right. Because I, like most middle American Nebraskan conservatives, I'm one of those old school Bible thumping types. Because I've been through some shit. And I figured out that maybe the best way for me to move my life forward is to accept the idea of a power higher than myself. Stand strong, everyone. But don't forget, and of course, like if you're in an area that is impacted by coronavirus, okay? Stand strong. Be vigilant. Practice good hygiene for the love of fucking God. However, do not let fear take away your most basic civil fucking liberties. Liberties guaranteed by the Constitution, even if the people in Congress won't fight for it right now. You have to be willing to stand up and fight for what you know is true. Because if you don't, you absolve your own responsibility of your own life. And thus, you're just a tool, a cog in a system. And you're better than that, YouTube. God bless all of you. Atheist or not. And if God doesn't bless you, then may the universe bless you. May everything go well. I hope everyone's families are safe and happy. And I hope that we can stand together. As I said, liberal, conservative, atheist, Catholic, Muslim and Jew. Everybody. Put their hands together because that's the only way we can get through this goddamn crisis. Anyone, anyone who is willing to help out, call your local law enforcement, your local hospital. Call, volunteer. If there's anything you can do, I mean, unless you're in a high-risk category, like if you're immunodeficient, if you're over the age of like 50 or 60, um... Don't do that. Don't put yourself at risk so that you die. Because we can't use you. Not use you, I guess. But you're not useful dead. 
I don't mean to say it in such blunt terms, but you're not useful dead. You're just another number. People who I'm talking to, you know who I'm talking to. And everybody, as much as you might not like, I don't like everything that our president has said or done. I don't like it. I really don't like the partisanship that I see, though, in response to a crisis. People want to politicize this and attack. If Hillary Clinton was my president...